with an iron. And beautifully placed. It's about the same distance, 186, and this is also a 7 iron. It's right at it. Get the slope. Yeah, advantage couples here on the first hole. Now Kalkovecchio. Jack, Mark is just off the green, about just a little bit back of center. Freddie's going with a six iron. It's nice to see how he has these elevated tees on almost every hole here. Well, it? sit down. Oh, just God. off the back. Wait a minute. Right. Hold it. Hold it. All right. Get one of these out of get there. Ready, couples. They hit first. We're seeing another elevated tee on this 373 yard par four. Freddie's got a two iron. Placement is key off the tee. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Calc's going with a three iron. Side by side. Arts to an elevated green. This is a pitching wedge. Get out. Oh, it got up too much, didn't it? That long? It's really hard and fast today, Jack. Aren't they? Well, they got a rise out of us. Yeah. Greens hardwood? They were yesterday. <laughs> they were yesterday. <laughs> really? They, I they, tell you. It dried I up really, a little. really spun that way. We're <laughs> on this hole. <laughs> Jack, you just launched this. Uh, dude, <clears throat> thanks. If he's too far left now, I don't know. Yeah. Well, if you hit it too far, it goes just a little bit through the fairway. Bunker with his second shot. And he's left himself a very difficult bunker shot, about 40 yards, and has to fly it all the way back to the hole and get it up quickly with that really, really steep face. <coughs> oh, he hit that terrific jack. Didn't he just beautiful shot by Freddie Cutters? You have that for birdie. The up top. 80. 86 to the hole. Freddie Couples checking the yardage for his second shot here at the par four fifth hole. Doesn't have a very good lie here. He's going to go with the sand wedge. As Joey said, it's 86 yards. That was pretty good, good crisp shot. I'll roll right up there. Another yeah. birdie opportunity, Jack. And Fred's got a seven iron. What's going on? Jack, he's going to leave himself with a tough putt well, for his hooking. birdie there. It's on the green, honey. In the shade. Shade on my hand. What's a hooking? Iron off the tee and left himself 86 yards. To an elevated green. That was a lob wedge. Light. Oh, it's coming back, Jack. Very nicely, too, Jennifer. Thank you. No spin. Maybe that's good. He's got the big driver. Perfect. Beauty. Thank you. And he's launched it. They left. Perfect. Thanks. Thank you.
Okay. In 17 yards. And a little wind has finally come up and uh, it's shortening this par five a bit. This is a five iron. No. Wow. That hit hot, didn't it? A little too much, Jack. About the flop shot today. Obviously, the way Calc and I attack par fives and we're short or around the par fours, you need to have this shot. I think we both have very good ones, and we're here to show you our technique on the flop shot right now. All right, Fred. Uh, we both have a, a same sort of uh, uh, outside loop and drop in, handsy type flop shot is what you need. You don't want to be real rigid with a flop. You need to be real loose and uh, and, and kind of handsy. And Fred Fred does it a little bit different than me, just in his in his grip. So normally my grip is strong when I play, but if I get a tougher shot, I actually soften it up, which gives me more feel. And as Mark said, it's almost a figure eight. And you just let the club slide under the ball. So by going this way, you're using the face a lot more than cutting across it, which is another way a lot of people do. But I like to feel the shot come off my hands instead of trying to say, I just need to cut across the ball. So I have more feel doing that. And Mark's kind of the same way, except for his unique grip also. What I do in my grip is, uh, my normal grip is, a, uh, is an overlap grip. Uh, and as I said, you don't want too much right hand in a flop shot. Uh, so what I do is I'll move my other knuckle up here and I double overlap. Uh, and how I discovered this was one day I was struggling with my chipping, so I just started chipping with my whole hand over, over this way and hitting flop shots. And then uh, I gradually just kind of inched down and, uh, and, and kept the double overlap. And what that does is, uh, as Fred just explained, it allows me to, to be handsy with it, a little figure eight, and, uh, and let the club slide under the ball. That's... Uh, that's how we do it. It doesn't always come off like we hope, but uh, hopefully, hopefully those tips will help. So hopefully it'll help you around the greens in your short game. The first tee is with a three wood. Perfect. Thank you. Nice shot. Thank you. Jack, it looks perfect. Bouncing merrily along. Uh -huh. Second shot. Left himself 132 yards. This is a pitching wedge. A little out of the green to hit, too. Bite. Well, actually, it did bite a bit, didn't it? It's going. Thank you. Could have had the lane, couldn't he? Go right in that oak? Yeah. I think it went down a squirrel hole. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I accept it. I got that squirrel working for me. <laughs> All right. Five shots behind. Oh, he ripped it. Yeah, you're right. I'm in the same squirrel hole. Oh, just left of it. Almost the same area of uh, Freddy's ball. Where's my fade? This also is driver. Good drive, but look how far ahead Calc is. Calc just ripped that one. Boy. So, Freddie to hit first. What's he got, Jennifer? 153 yards uphill. This is a pitching wedge. Big bounce. So not quite as big a bounce as he That's wanted. 40 feet short. And now Calcavecchia after a drive. Fred's also got driver. Oh, 
Oh, it's going right, Jack. So he hit a little bit of a cut. Too much. Oh. I hope it's not in the big stuff. It's 136 to it. 36 is kind of like 25. Semi falls front on the left. 36 right to the unit. He got a break at that, didn't he? Yeah, he's got a pretty good line, as you heard Joey say. It's 136 yards uphill. Flirting with that tree a little bit on the right hand side. It's a blind shot. He can't see the green at all. Got it on the green. It's a little far away from the hole, though. No Calcavecchia. Now, Freddie Couples. He's also got driver. His five shot lead is now at two, and I think he's going to want to get one back here. Looks like he's headed over the big tree also. Beauty. Beauty. Jack. Beauty. Jack, the gallery is just amazed at how far these guys are hitting it. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> Another beautiful shot. Two great tee shots, but uh, unfortunately, neither one hit a particularly good second shot. A bit. Let's see if Freddie can do something to stop it here. This is also a five iron. Get up. Okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, it got up for him, didn't it? Just a little off Gee. to the right. How do they, what's the Nirvana? What do they do? Just kind of like Pearl Jam. Now, Freddie. Also a driver. Ooh, this is going left. Oh, it's going way left. What's over there? There's a hazard in there. Sprinting. Uh, this may be a little trouble for Freddie. Were you up here? Did it hit in here? No, it went. Carried in there? I got one ball right there, Val. That's it. He's going to have to work this ball around these trees because the green's up to the left. Oh, he's taking too much off this. This oh. is going left. The second one he said left. There's trouble, too. Into the trees again. So now Kalkovecki in the driver's seat, just one shot behind. Freddie in trouble. 160 yards. This is a seven iron. Getting better all the time. Good now. The momentum continues to change. Kalkovecki. Like Joey, definitely the one you got. Now couples with a nine iron. It's amazing his tempo continues to stay the same even after a double bogey. Oh, oh my! <laughs> How about Jennifer. those two shots, Jennifer? Huh? Both of them almost aced this hole. Where's that? Six inches. I mean, five down to two up to one down in about an hour. <laughs>